Guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Ian, this is Goggles Tires and Trainers and a bit of a three-part video today. Uh, disappointing video to have to make, I'm honest, if I'm honest, very disappointing. Um, and not one I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to talking about. So, first of all, last week I mentioned that the trail events company were making a decision as to whether the trail half marathon in Brecon would be going ahead on the 10th of October. And unfortunately, Thursday of last week, we got the news that we were kind of expecting, but hoping not to hear, and that is that the event will not be going ahead. Now, it's not a massive surprise. 60% of Wales is in for some form of local lockdown at the moment. And I couldn't really see that event going ahead, being given the go ahead. So they've made the right decision. Um, unfortunately but you know there we are it's another event that's been cancelled so you know we are where we are it's, it's coronavirus and I'm hoping I'm hoping that this these series of local lockdowns will will get us to the point where we need to be and and, and get that all-important R number down below one uh, for coronavirus so you know fingers crossed in terms of me, what that means is that all hopes now rest on the Escape to Afan event in November. The end of November, it's uh, the Trail Duathlon. I'm not expecting it to go ahead, if I'm honest. I'm feeling a little bit pessimistic today as I'm speaking, and I don't really see that it's going to be going ahead. I'm really hoping that it does, because I've not done anything this year. I've had, I've had three events cancelled. Um, fingers, fingers crossed, but I'm expecting the worst. Hoping for the best and expecting the worst. And that brings me on to part two of the video. So I want to talk about last week. And unfortunately, all I can do is talk about last week because I did no training. Um, I was ill for all of the week, so the whole week. So I had a cold buggy thing from Monday, Sunday evening through till kind of Wednesday. And then that seemed to go. Sore throat, kind of aches, tired, just feeling a bit rubbish. That went, I feel brilliant. And I was left with a migraine, and unfortunately, yeah, I, I think I've mentioned this a lot, a lot on the vlog, but I do suffer from migraines, especially when I've been stressed or overtired, and I've been very stressed with work. I've been worried about whether or not I'm gonna have a job. Um, and that's all kind of come out, and I've had a, mi I had a migraine for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It eventually went, I woke up Saturday, feeling pretty grotty, pretty hungover from the migraine, but unfortunately the whole week was a write-off. So I've done no training at all and I feel absolutely crap about it, if I'm honest. I feel really kind of miserable. Um, so a, a lost week and I think this, this year has been rubbish. And unfortunately with another event going, my, my kind of lack of, of motivation is, is really kind of becoming prevalent. So that brings me on to part three of this video. And part three of this video is all about what I'm going to do about it. So I, I had a bit of a, a text conversation with Doug last week after the, the announcement that, that the, um, the event was going to be cancelled. And I need to do something because right now I'm kind of bumbling along on the bottom almost. Um, I'm not really training with any degree of, of commitment. Um, unfortunately, there have been races going ahead, and they've just not—they've just not been suitable for me. I've not been able to get to them, or we've had family commitments. Um, so, you know, this year is looking like if if, if um, Afan doesn't go ahead, it's been a complete write-off. So, I'm going to have to do something about that. So, I've set out a series of short, uh, short and mid-term goals. So, I'm, I'm kind of mid-term. That's kind of up until middle of next year. Um, and I'm going to share those with you now because this is going to form what I'm going to be training for now. I'm, I'm half tempted to call this video Do You Even Triathlon Bro? because I've done nothing in terms of triathlon this year and I'm feeling like a bit of a fraud. So what I'm going to do is set out some targets for me to achieve that's going to help me prepare for next season as best I'm able to. So let's share those right now. So my first goal, and it's a really simple one, but in business, you have to kind of make these smart goals, and that's what I've tried to do with these. So specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. So I've done those for the, for, the, for the goals I'm going to talk about. And the first one is that I'm going to achieve 100% of my training plan for October and November. And that sounds really simple, but the last couple of months, like I said, I've not had the why. My why has not been strong enough to train because the events keep getting cancelled and I've missed quite a few and I don't like that at all. I feel I feel fraudulent in sitting and talking to you guys about my training when I've not when I've not done everything I could have done. So goal one, achieve every single session on the training plan 
for October and November. So my second goal, my second goal is to drop my weight to 146 pounds by December the 1st. So over lockdown, this, over the course of this year actually, because I've not been racing, I've not been as diligent with my diet as I would be normally. I've had a beer a couple of times a week, which I wouldn't do normally. And it's all added to a, a weight gain of about eight pounds. Um, and I don't feel happy the way I'm at, at the moment. I know that it's not where I feel comfortable and I know that it isn't probably where I'm performing best. So as I said, I want to weigh 146 pounds by December the 1st. Okay, goal three, and this is a performance-based one, and it's gonna hurt, but I wanna put it out there, and I wanna to train to it. I want my FTP to be 310 by December the 31st of this year. That's gonna hurt, but I think it's really important, and I've got three goals for each of the disciplines in triathlon because I wanna keep it interesting. I wanna get back training all three disciplines, and I think that each of these will help me achieve my final goal um, that I'll talk about in a minute. So 310 FTP by December 31st. My next goal is a running base one and it's getting back to that half marathon distance. I'm still chasing a one hour 30 or sub one hour 30 half marathon. And I want to achieve a sub one hour 30 half marathon at the Gloucester, Gloucester Marathon on Sunday the 24th of January. So I raced this a couple of years ago pretty untrained and I got to about 130, I think it's 138. Um, so I want to go there again, race it and get a one hour 30 or less half marathon time. Now if that isn't available, if that race does get cancelled and we're still in some form of lockdown or that event doesn't happen, I will, I will run a local half marathon distance run and try to achieve a one hour 30 or less time for it. And I think I've got a course in mind that's about the same elevation. I know where it is, it's a local route. I've got to do three laps of it. I think it'll be interesting. However, that's my next goal. My next goal is a swimming base one and we're moving into the kind of midterm now. So I've gone through the short term and we're moving into midterm. By 30th of April of next year, I want to be able to swim 1900 meters in 32 minutes. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm around about 34 at the minute, so I need to take a couple of minutes off my time. I think it's achievable. I've not swam much this year. I'm looking forward to getting back into that. But there we go, 30th of April next year, I want to be doing 32 minutes for a 1900 meter swim. And my final one, and this is this is the one that all these little little kind of stepping stones are built on. This is the kind of final objective that these these kind of goals are working toward, and it's the Chumley uh, Castle Try race in June of next year. I want to achieve a top ten in my age group at Chumley. I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to say it loud and brave. <laughs> top ten in my age group at Chumley next June. There we go. So there we go. Those are my goals and. I can't help but feel miserable the fact that I've lost training um, over the last couple of weeks and another event's been cancelled. However, I'm dealing with that in a more positive way. I feel like I've been a bit of a passenger recently and I'm going to uh, wrestle back control of my plan and myself, make steps, make go, make uh, and work towards a set of targets which I hope will, will ultimately lead to me achieving my final aim, which as I said, is that Chumley, Chumley top 10 in my age group. Right, that's it guys, very short, sweet video. I hope you found it interesting. I'm really sorry that I've got no training to share with you. However, this week I'm gonna be committed. I'm gonna say, start working toward that 100% commitment, 100% uh, attainment of, of, of the plan. And I'll bring you along with me. I've also got some exciting unboxing to do in a bit. So anyway, that's it. I will see you again for the next video. Cheers guys.